Hey, what's going on, guys? Hex here, and today we're taking a look at the Takara Legends LG 54 Bumblebee. Uh, you can find this figure and many others like it at Big Bad Toy Store. Just follow the link in the description. All right, this guy, he comes with a Headmaster as well. Uh, so I already have him equipped. He's inside the vehicle. You can kind of see him through the front of the windshield there, which looks kind of cool. Uh, this one also has a little bit more paint. I believe then the Hasbro version, uh, you do have some uh, nice painted silver wheels here. Uh, the back portion of this is painted yellow to where this and the front end is just the yellow plastic. But I think that uh, you, you can kind of see it, I think, on camera to where you can see that this is painted, this is painted, and the back's painted. But uh, with the door and the front end of this is just this yellow plastic. But I think it ties in pretty nicely. Uh, that little bit right there is painted as well. Nice Tampagraft Autobot logo, some nice red tail lights, more you know, black paint around here, and you get some nice silver paint uh, for little accents here at the front. Uh, it does roll uh, pretty nicely. Uh, if you want to take the headmaster out, just kind of uh, like pop this side and this side over here. Gets this open, and we'll just go ahead and close that up, and we'll get that, more into that into the transformation, but. So you get him out and take a look at the little headmaster. Uh, you can see the little face, which is supposed to be kind of magnified, I guess. Um, so it's almost like the, the headmaster's done backwards, uh, but where you can have a little bit better magnified face, which doesn't show up too well, and you can kind of see the back portion of it there. But uh, anyways, with the arms, they kind of go in and out a little bit. They go up and down. Go ahead and close those. You can see a little bit of paint here with the blue on top of the white. Same thing here with the arms. And you can do that seating position. This is how he'll sit in the car. Or he could even do this if you needed to put him on a different um, you know, figure. Uh, transforming him. Just move the arms all the way up and close this back. And now you have the head, which was for... God, I'm trying to think of his... Cerebros, I believe is what it is. Uh, so, anyways, or at least the, the the version here is what he looked like in the American, uh, I believe it was called the Rebirth Season 4, which was only three episodes long, uh, his face. So, there's the uh, American version, which, you know, looks pretty good. So, uh, as far as the Bumblebee car, we've kind of already looked at that. So, just getting into the transformation, uh, lifting this up and just kind of pull this you know forward a little bit uh, so if you don't have fingernails like I don't then you can uh, get in there and be able to pull those out and then just kind of move these forward and down like so so you have the legs done then with this section here you can go ahead and pop this and pop this side to where this comes all the way forward Go ahead and come down with the arms there, and this will fold up, then that'll fold up, and then this will come like so. Then you can see that you have the pin here and another one to where you can fold down, and you can see that little hole there where that can connect and kind of keep that secure. And then with the arms, just rotate this a quarter turn where now you have ball joints for the hands and uh, bumblebees all transform so it uh, doesn't look too bad i usually don't buy the bumblebee figures because i've never really found one that i was like too terribly uh excited about uh this one I, I thought looked decent and also the fact that he came with the uh, i believe it's spike headmaster i thought it was all all right looking not too bad but a uh, little three three sixty of him, uh, very hollow here. Uh, but you know this is a little legends figure. Uh, as far as articulation goes, you can rotate the head, uh, the arms. They go up and down here, rotation there. So you do have the uh, ball joint there, and here at the elbow where this rotates. If you had a you know gun or something, you could put it in there. So it's same as the. Uh, deluxe figures as far as the uh, the port for the uh, hand. Nothing in the waist. Legs go back and forth. Everything seems to be pretty tight. Uh, the knee 
goes all the way back. Uh, obviously, could you know even pose like this. Uh, let's see if we can get them to stand that way. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a little too heavy there. He needs both feet to uh, be able to be stable. But uh, as far as uh, comparison with a deluxe figure, so you can see as far as height goes, um, there you go with Slug Slinger. And uh, to get him back into his um, little car mode, just kind of straighten out the head there. Go ahead and straighten these doors just with a quarter turn. Go ahead and lift this up and then bring that back. Open this up and that's pop. That's the second time this has popped off, but you can pop it right back on there. Bring that around. This comes down. And these should be able to slide. Just move those back up. And you need to get this door up underneath. Kind of see there. And do the same thing with this one. As you're kind of pushing this up, kind of move this door. Because right, you can see where that little line is. Get that up underneath that window. And then you can uh, pop this and you know make sure everything is secure again. Uh, same thing with the feet. You can go ahead and connect those through that grill. And these just kind of accordion back up in there. Accordion. And you can see that little black spot where those are supposed to pop in there. There we go. And go ahead and shut those down. And uh, there you have B transform back again so not a complicated transformation you know shouldn't be because it's a little legends figure but you know i like it not a bad little uh bumblebee car it's pretty cool especially with the big rims and they're nicely painted so a little bit of silver uh there little accents on the side skirts quarter panel so anyways uh thanks a lot for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed and i'll talk to you guys later peace